Here's my final uh, model for the alley scene and I'm going to show you a render in a moment but I've got my camera my lights and everything in there that I wanted but I want to talk to you about the tin can and so I'm going to come over to Substance Painter and uh, here's the tin can it's just a cylinder there and I've already baked the mesh maps and I just want to show you how I did the ribbed effect on the side so I'm going to come over to my smart materials and find a metal I'll try to use this uh, metal alley and we'll see how that looks you can use any metal that you wanted to and it's gonna get rid of that mask throw that on and maybe for this we'll just get rid of the rust for now so we can just sort of see it a little bit better okay so there's my tin can and what I want is I want that ribbed effect uh, somewhere in the middle okay so the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna create a folder I'm going to call this uh, rib <laughs> and I'll add a fill to that so we can see it's gone everywhere and I'm going to add a black mask and I'm going to uh, let's see I think what I'll do is uh, I'm going to press F1 and we'll look at the uh, the UVs here and I'll come over to my alphas and choose a square brush here or a square alpha here there we go and I just want to make sure I want my spacing out. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is select an area to sort of mask out. So let's say, let's just try this and see where it goes. So it's gone there. Okay, and maybe I'll go down a little further or up a little further, depending on which way my UVs are. I'll just, I'll just choose an area like that. So I basically drew a mask there. All right, I can go back to F2 and just look at this thing here. Okay, this mask, uh, I'm going to take this mask and copy it. And I'm going to put it on the folder as well. Paste into mask. Okay, so add a fill to this mask here. Come into the grayscale. And you can already see that effect happening. And I'm going to choose stripes and I'm going to adjust the pattern here pull the shift all the way down to there and let's increase the number of stripes like that let's say and maybe we'll go full like that so it doesn't look that good yet so what we really need to do is add a filter a blur filter and that's going to change everything and then just adjust this to however you like okay something like that and then go back and decide man yeah, maybe we want them to go down maybe that looks better in the end because of the way we did the mask we're going to get this line here and here but i still think it looks okay but i think i prefer it that way all right and that's how I did that effect. All right, let's have a look at the sign now. For the sign, I had two texture sets, two materials in Blender. I'm gonna start with the alley sign here, and I'm gonna use the same material, same smart material, little alley, drag that in. I'll get rid of the mask, and you can see that it's on just that area. And I'll leave it like that, that's, that's okay. Uh, but I think what I'll do is I'll come in here I'm going to add a fill layer. I'm going to use color and height. Bring the height up about halfway. I'll bring the color down to there. And I'm going to add a black mask and a paint. And I'm going to press F, uh, F6 to go into orthographic and snap to the side. No, I'll do the front first. Snap to the front. Turn on symmetry. This is symmetry in the X. Oh, I want that on. And I'll come over to my alphas. And now I'm going to search for a bolt. Now I happen to have a bolt here, this JRO a bolt, but you could use a circle or, or something else that you think will work. I'm going to choose that, minimize that, and click. And uh, I think I want to go the other way, actually, for my height. So I'll come back to the paint layer and put that in there. So one goes on the other side. Not going to be overly visible but uh so i've got those there i'm going to snap to the side view i'm going to change my symmetry to the z 
and I'm gonna put one up here and here and they're okay like that without any of the rust or the dirt effects I think so so there's that now I'm gonna press F5 to go back to perspective so I've got some bolts in there all right next uh, I'm going to do emission on the glass itself so um, what I sometimes will do is come to my smart materials type in glass and use this glass dirty drop that in and that'll go there and then come back in here and maybe get rid of the base and then I have the dirt in there that may or may not be dirt that I want but we'll see now nah, that's actually not too bad I want it around the edge do something like that okay I could start with that so I've got that and then I'm going to create another layer and this is going to be an emissive and so I need to come to my texture set settings and I don't have emissive as a channel so I'm going to add that all right now I've got emissive there I'm going to alt click on that I might do something else but let's go get like a blue kind of color like that okay so that's okay but what I really want to do is I want to add a black mask and I want to add paint and I'm going to snap back to orthographic f6 and I'm going to come back to my square alpha brush and I'm going to paint in the emission just double check this see the spacing again I don't want that okay so I'm going to click hold control and Alt, is that what I'm holding? Hmm. Let me make sure about that. All right, let's scale it down. I'm holding Shift and Control. And get a size I like. Do that. Do the top. Do that. Let's not forget the bottom. And then over on the other side. Okay, so say I've got that. We'll see if the front's okay. I'm gonna press F5, go back into perspective. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a blur on top of that. So filter, blur, and I'm gonna blur it quite a bit. Something like that. And what I might do, I might come back here and uh, I might add a bit more. And they don't have to be e exactly equal something like that but i'm going to come back to my emissive and consider if i want to turn color on and then i can get sort of like a bit of a of a mix you know, sort of a, a slightly whiter a whiter blue okay so i've got my my sign there and of course you can adjust the emission here how much you want up at the top less or more i'll just i'll just leave it there all right, the next thing I'm going to do is add another layer, a fill layer. I'm going to use color and I want it to be black, dark. And I'm going to add a black mask and a paint. And I want a font. And I want to put some, some letters in. So I'm just going to use this uh, Japan font, Japanese font. Double click that. And that will put some default stuff. Now, I don't read Japanese, so I'm just going to use some of that. I just deleted some. I'm going to use maybe up to there. I'll increase the size, and I'm going to put this at about 225. And I'm just going to use that. Click there, and it's going to look like that. Now, if I come back to my main layer, and I just click the emission on uh, with black, we actually get the black text. And the effect that I'm going to do works best with with thin font rather than thick. That's why I chose this. 
And so now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add a filter blur and just up it just a little bit. And then on top of that, I'm going to add glow. Now, you may not see anything yet. I want to make some adjustments. So I'm going to put that at 0.3, I think. And the spread at something like 0.15. And we're not really seeing anything. I'm going to tr see if these values work. I think this one, actually, I want at 0.15 in the opacity. And maybe I'll put this at 0.2. We'll try that. Now, what I'm going to do is here where it says used on mask, it says false. I'm going to switch this to true. And now you can see we're starting to get this. Okay, so this is not quite what I want. I'm going to put this to spread down at zero. And that's more the effect that I'm going for. It's kind of blurred out effect. Um, so what I often will do is go back to this false and put this at point two. Let's turn that back on and see what it looks like. Okay, it's not doing it. So, sorry, we're going to go back to here. Uh, we're going to try 0.4 and then use on mask. And that's kind of the effect that I, I, I wanted to go for. And this is what, uh, what it looks like. Now, it's a little dark, but uh, that's kind of what I was going for. There you can see the sign. You can see roughly what I've done. I blurred it out a little bit more. Put a little bit of graffiti on the walls. Here, I'll show you there at uh, 100%. And we'll just look around. There's not much else in the scene other than this. Simple scene. You see my garbage bag in the back, the garbage can. You can see the tin cans are not very, they're not very light, but they're just in the shadows and you can see the ribbed effect on those. My various pipes and all. And that's it for a simple scene. I've got a green light and a bit of light over here. I've got a bluish light and I've got a red light. I've got an area light actually out in front. And that is, that's going to be it. All right, so that is the alley scene. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. It was a lot of fun and we use Substance Painter for quite a bit of this uh, texturing and creating these you know effects. And uh, yeah, so thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.